Hi, James here. Today I'm actually going to have a look at Harmony rather than Animate Pro. While it may look a lot like Animate Pro, it's actually a different product line. And today I'm going to have a look at the particle engine that's new and it's really cool and it has some really nice effects. And I'm just going to actually going to go through and have a look at some of the built-in examples. If you're already familiar with particle engines, you might just want to skip to my tutorial later on about creating rain from scratch. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to drop in a couple of the things that Toon Boom have already made and show you what sort of things a particle system can actually do. Now it can be found in two places. It's in your module library and you have particle and particle examples. Or you can hop up into your insert menu and particle and then you have your basic particle systems. These are what you'll use if you're building a system from scratch. And then you have a whole group of different things that the Toon Boom have done to show you what you can actually do with it. So I'll just drop rain in to start with. And one of the things you'll notice is really nice about this is usually to see a lot of effects you have to go into render view which you know takes longer to render and it's not really that feasible for working and it's only good for you know seeing what your effect looks like. But in this you'll be able to see you can now just in your standard view press play and watch your particle effect run. And that's you know really nice for working on these particle systems and getting them out quick. The way they work is essentially you have a drawing that becomes your particle. So in this case there's a drawing of a raindrop and there's actually three drawings there of different opacities and they're just going along becoming your rain. So I'll have a look at a different effect now. We'll just pop into our scene something like um, let's have a look at the confetti because that's a really nice example. And what you'll see here is as it pops down it hits this 2D plane. So these particles that you have, you can actually create in 3D and then render them out in 2D. And so that's really nice. And you can use these 2D planes that you can create to create barriers so that you can match it with your 2D scene. And as you can see, drawing this by hand would just take so long. And you can see how they're all bouncing off this plane. And so that's a good example of something else you could do with it. Um, I'll have a look at one more example and then I'll move on to a tutorial where we actually do something from scratch. And I like to show they've got a lemmings example. And what I really like about the lemmings example is it shows that you're actually, it's not just a particle engine, it also has a physics engine built into it. And so you can see here, for those of you, it's based on the old Lemmings games, for those of you who have played it. And as you can see, the Lemmings just pop down and they get affected by the gravity. I might need to actually expand our timeline out here. So you can see that the Lemmings fall down. They hit this and then they determine it's the ground and they can walk along it. And you can see if they fall down on the bottom and walk away. So... You can do a whole heap of things and they give you a whole group of modules here which you can use to create these type of effects. Now you can learn two ways. You can either go in and have a look at their examples and start tweaking them or you can try and build your own from scratch. What I'm going to do in my next tutorial will be actually take you through building rain from scratch and We'll, do, we'll just take the basic particle system and we'll slowly build it up until we have rain. I'm going to do a different rain to the actual example that's in there. I'm going to do a sort of sleecing rain, which I, you can find that example on my channel as well. And I hope this sort of gets you an idea of what sort of things you can do with the particles and we can move on and actually learn how to do some of that.